Good evening. Investigators say they're looking for an arsonist after a fire that came dangerously close to homes in Farmington. I think that, I believe it started just right there. So it was, I saw flames all over around here. The fire chief in Farmington says he has no doubt this brush fire was intentionally set. Yes, Northern Utah Specialist Mike Anderson explains he is urging anyone with information about the person responsible to please come forward. Mike? Yeah, Mike, they're concerned that, uh, you know, next time property could be damaged, people could be hurt. It burned about two acres just up the hill here, but uh, also burned quite a bit more just down the hill across the road here, uh, burning some of the brush that was actually uh, really close to one family's home. As crews arrived to battle this fire above the Farmington benches. Looked to the side of my house and the flames were just blazing. Jackie Toon says she had only just realized what was going on just beyond her front yard. She was immediately approached by police. Just said, I need you to get your family and get out as soon as possible. Her husband watered down the yard as she and her sister started loading up the kids. There were big, huge flames just... 10 feet from her when she was trying to get into my dad's car to go and talk to them. Meantime, about 15 firefighters were battling steep, rocky terrain. This was a very serious uh, fire, had great potential of uh, threatening structures as well as people who were in them asleep at early hours of the morning. Which is why investigators are eager to talk to the person who started it. Beyond a reason of a doubt, it's intentional. Don't know who it is or the thrill that they're getting off of it, um, but I I truly hope that they can get some help and realize that they're putting families and, and people into danger. Luckily, firefighters were able to quickly get control of this blaze. They were excellent. Other nearby neighbors say they're grateful. By the time we got up there, all, we didn't see any flames at all. We just saw the smoke and a little smoldering. So they were very quick. But firefighters say they're lucky. A change in winds and it could have been much worse. With other suspicious fires that were lit in Farmington just last month, investigators and homeowners are anxious to say the least. Hopefully they can get help because we don't want this to happen again. And Toon says neighbors wore a big help, many of them rushing to help with the kids, help load them up in the car and help her husband water down the yard here. But uh, their home was actually the only one evacuated here overnight. Back to you. That was awfully close. Mike, thanks.